Would you know if you were having a heart attack? Often many people do not recognize the symptoms of a heart attack, especially women. Very often women will have heart attacks, they'll be called silent heart attacks at home, but in fact they're not silent, they're just presenting so differently that neither the woman nor her physician were aware of the fact that they could be a heart attack. Some of the warning signs for a heart attack are similar in men and women, such as pain in the chest, arms, back, neck, or jaw. Additional warning signs are cold sweats, nausea, lightheadedness, and shortness of breath. The symptoms in women can be confusing, which is why heart disease sometimes goes undetected in women. Symptoms that are more prevalent in women than in men are shortness of breath, nausea, and vomiting. A normal heart pumps blood regularly through the body. Coronary arteries bring blood to the heart. When plaque collects in the arteries, then the arteries narrow. The plaque can break off, creating a blood clot, which decreases the blood flow to the heart, causing a heart attack. It is important to seek medical attention immediately if you think you are having a heart attack. If you think you're having a heart attack, there are several things that you need to do. Number one is you need to take an aspirin right away if you're not taking it already. Number two, if the discomfort lasts for more than 15 minutes, I'd get on the phone and call 911 so that you can get to a hospital as quickly as possible. If you get to an emergency room quickly, um, we can actually open up that coronary artery, reperfuse blood, and save a lot of the heart that would have otherwise been lost. Um, and that's buying good years added on to your life. After a heart attack, some patients are given a stent, a small device that keeps the artery from re-narrowing. The odds of the artery re-narrowing after the stent are as high as 30 percent. One way to keep the artery from re-narrowing is to use a stent that releases a drug into the artery. Stents may not always be an option for some patients because their arteries are too small or too damaged. If the stent is not an option, patients are advised to have bypass surgery. There are 750,000 bypass surgeries performed in the United States every year. After the patient is given a stent or had bypass surgery, the rehab process begins. During rehabilitation, the patient learns about nutrition, weight management, and emotional support. The patient is also carefully watched while exercising to measure the level of exertion. Patients may also be given medication to control cholesterol levels, lower blood pressure, or to limit blood clotting. As these are the doors that heart disease came into in your life. It was elevated blood pressure, smoking, stress, cholesterol, etc. You can close those doors so that it doesn't keep coming in. Patients can live healthy lives after their heart attacks if they eat nutritiously, exercise regularly, quit smoking if they were smokers, and get their blood pressure and bad cholesterol levels under control.